Okay, guys. Let's do this. Um, you know what today is? You know, Sunday is brand day, and I usually do a accountability journal on here for that. I'm sorry, I'm still smacking my mouth because I've been eating turkey burgers out my wall. It was so good. I'm not going to do this. I'm going to lick the bowl. It was so good. I'm going to lick the bowl. It was so good. So, um, long day. Happy Mother's Day to everybody. Because I'm going to go outside to my family. Um, so much shit. So much shit. I can't. I don't even know where to start. So, let me get up on this camera. And let's start with the beginning. Um, Mother's Day was good. It was straight. I'm supposed to tell my grandmother and stuff. My actual mother actually came. What a shocker. And, uh, I was out there chilling. I actually had my cheat drink, which was a screwdriver, but it was super, 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 super sweet. And you would not believe how many calories was in one bottle of the, it was like a 24 ounce, 596 calories, I believe. But I could double check for you guys to be accurate. Let's see, let's go here. It was 546. So it's not, not far from 600. Ridiculous amount. Probably a very ridiculous amount of sugar. I'm scared to actually look. It was just, it had 85 grams of carbs. Crazy. Yeah, it had 85 grams of carbs. I don't know how much sugar. It was just bad. Yeah, I had one of those earlier, and I also had my regular breakfast, my protein, wa ugh, protein waffles, and my chia pudding, which was delicious, and I've been drinking on this waffle <laughs> today. I'm actually going to start my fast at 7 o'clock, because I just feel like I don't really want to overdo it, because I'm already at 1,600 with my calories, and I don't want to overdo it, so I said, mm, I'll stop eating now, so it's like if... I stopped eating at 7. That's 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hold up. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, yes, yeah, 7 to 7 is 12. And then 8, 9, 10, 11. 13, 14, 15, 16. Yes, yeah, so I can probably eat at 12 tomorrow, which is cool. Because I normally don't get to eat until like 2. So, yeah, that's how that went. And I don't think I'll be drinking my beer next weekend. Okay. So, on to the good shit. Let me take a drink for this. That's like water and then some tea. Actually, my tea actually shrunk this bottle. I put hot tea in here and like looked at the bottle. It's so cute. Remember that bottle I showed you guys earlier? I cracked it with my hot tea. Still put hot tea in a plastic bottle. Okay, so let's get to the good shit. Oh, I knocked the backpack down. Okay, so this is week. I can't remember the number of the week. I lost track. I know this is like probably day 40. Because I've had my pit in the south a while. Oh, this is day 43. We'll go off that. Day 43. Okay, and so basically, I started this week, this prior week. Oh, I started this prior week at 2. What was it? It was two two sixty nine point eight. Today it's two sixty six point two. Went really really good. Um, that's actually down three point six. So yeah, three point six down. I'm happy. I don't ever want to see that three point six ever again. Bye bye three point six. So three point six down in total. It's 20, 20 points, I think it was 20.2, am I right, I think it was 20 point, oh, 20.6, 20 
So in total, 20 points takes. So, so 286.8 to 266.2. Thumbs up for that. I'm really happy about that. Um, I kind of felt like I did really good anyway because I can kind of see it a little bit when I'm swimming. But um, yeah, I was very much pleased with that. Because I know when you're large, you know, you lose a lot more quicker. So I'm just preparing myself for the weeks when they come. I kind of feel like I'm going to start seeing those two, like, number, like, two pounds a week. Probably, like, when I get to 240, 230, it will probably slow down a little bit. But I also, what I did this week was I changed my calorie intake from the 15 to the 14. I lost a decent amount. I feel like I'm going to do it every 10 to 20 pounds. Like, I lose. I'll change the calorie intake. But this week, I did have a lot of days I only ate 1,200. And I had a day where I ate 800 accident. But I think I will try to not go too crazy. Like, I, if I don't have to eat 14, I won't. But some days I will eat 12. Some days I will eat for 14. Probably, like, once I get out. Probably, like, once I get down to... 30, I'll go straight 12, like 1200, 1200, 1200, 1200, unless I'm going to go back to the 15 or 1400, but my doctor started me off at 1500 calories, you know, to get on a diet, because I was consuming a hell of a lot more than um, 1500, so I'm definitely happy about that, am I still incorporating intermittent fasting? Yes. I still incorporate intermittent fasting because it is gold, it is life, it helps me so much, it just, it's, it's just where I need to be. So, um, that's what I basically did for that. Um, if you're cautious about it, it's not as bad as you think, it's actually, I was telling my cousin earlier, it's actually, you know, it just helps you clear your head, it reminds you that are you full? Are you hungry? You know, that's how I feel about it. Um, I do want to start incorporating the 20 slash 4 fast. Like, every Friday I'll do that fast. I feel like that gave me a big boost in the weight loss department. Um, I, yeah, I'm going to do that every Friday. And then all throughout the week, I'll just stick to my 16-8. So this Friday coming up, I'll go back and do my 24 it is a little bit strenuous and it's a little bit harder, but it is worth it. Like, and while I'm, like, chilling, like, usually I'll walk when I'm doing, during the 20 hours. So, or, well, after I wake up or whatever, and I walk during the 20 hours and stuff, and do exercises and whatnot. And I've also incorporated resistance training in here. So, like, three days a week I do resistance training because we all know fat, muscle burns fat, so... Definitely got a bulk on that muscle a little bit. Um, this week coming up, what am I really? Oh, before I get to all that, like, um, yeah, if you're interested, but if you're starting intermittent fasting, start with the 16, the 16, 8, then you can move over to 20 slash 4. And if you're really brave, if you're really brave, you can do the 24 straight. And I'm not going to be doing that one because I don't think that's for me. I was taking medication that I really need to eat with, so I'll probably just stick around the 24 or the 16 8 because that works better for me. And when you do the 24, 20 hours fasted, 4 hours eating, it is different. It is very difficult to do all you do in those 4 hours. Trust me, I know. It was hard to tell for me that day. Um, what else did I want to talk to you guys about? Oh, yeah, what I'm hoping for next week, and that would be the 21st weigh in. I am hoping for. I hate to be greedy, but I'm really hoping for three pounds down. I would like to be three more pounds down. Um, I'm already at 266, so if I can lose three, that will put me at 263, and that would be great. Like, 263 would be freaking awesome. Like, for real. I'd be happy. Um, I'm For the end of this month, because I know I have to do my weigh-ins, I have to weigh-in next week and the week after that, so I'm thinking... Really hoping being at 259. Like I really feel like it's a, it's obtainable, it's achievable, and it's possible, and we'll make that shit happen. So 
if I incorporate the weight training and just stick with doing my basic, I don't do less than 15k a day. Like 15k a day must have it. I have to make my 15,000 steps a day. So I make sure I stick with that and my weight training and do the fast every Friday, the 24 fast, not 24 hours, but 20 hours fasted slash four. That's um, that's definitely what I'm feeling like. It's giving me that extra boost. And I do fasted workouts. I don't eat when I work out anymore. I just work out and then I eat later because I need it to burn the fat. And I can see the results of much, 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 much happier fat. Um, yeah, by the end of May, really hoping for 259 because remember, I go to my doctor appointment the end of July. So I'm really hoping to impress them because last time I was there, I think I was. 278. So if I'm 259 by the end of May, 249 by the end of June, I'd be like, shoot, hopefully 240, 230. Well, actually, 239 by the end of July. So I'm thinking probably 240 something. He would be very impressed, very much impressed. So Definitely want to make that happen. But I'm really hoping to be, like, 239 by the time I see my doc. Like, by the time I see my doctor, I'm really hoping to, like, 239. So he'd be like, huh, oh, you've been working out. Okay. So, yeah. And my Fitbit. This little thing. Very, very useful. This little thing. Very useful. So, I've been using that. I'm actually charging it right now. I don't know if you guys probably can't see this as well. But, um... Yeah, I charge my Fitbit on Sunday. Now, like, your Fitbit will last all freaking week. Like, you ain't got to charge it, but probably one time. But if you use it a lot, you probably got to charge it two times a week. But, um, yeah, it's definitely trying to be, like, 230-something by the time I see my doctor. And by the end of the year, the end of the year goal is still 180 to well, 190 to 180. That would be really, really cool. Overall goal, I'm hoping by the middle of next year, like, 150. That would be really cool. But... Hey, we're not trying to get carried away. I'm trying to take it day by day. So this week was really good. We got rid of 20 unnecessary pounds. So um, now we're moving to next week. We're hoping for three. So if I can get next week, if I can get three, then that's 263. And then another three, it brings me to 260, 259. And I really feel like I can get it. Like it's possible. Um, I'm going to still stick with intermittent fasting because I feel like it hasn't failed me yet. I feel like it's pretty darn useful. It really helps me to control my appetite. Um, anything else I really want to discuss? Water. Have I really been getting a gallon a day? Not so much. A little under a gallon, but I usually, I, I stick with water because that's what I drink. I drink water, tea, or milk. Um, this week coming up for the menu is basically the Tuna. It's going to be fishy half the week, all the way up to like Wednesday or Thursday. So basically, it's going to be like tuna or um, salmon, which will be great because it's really great in protein. And then, and then, um, the rest of the week is pretty much going to be turkey hot sauce and veggies with avocado because I want to keep those healthy fats in. In the morning, we're sticking with protein waffles. Normally, I wouldn't do waffles every day in the morning. But since they're not that bad at carbohydrates and they're protein waffles, I'm going to stick with them because they're really good. They're like freaking delicious. Um, anything else? I've been working on my grocery list for next month, so there's that. Um, I know my period might pop up the end of this month or the first week of June. I'm really hoping the first week of June because... Well, I don't think any more this month. I think the first week in June will probably pop up again, so I might be screwed for my June, June fourth weigh in, but hopefully I can get that May weigh in. And let me see, because guys, I actually wanted to see, like, for the month of May, where are we at with weight loss, because usually I do this little thing on Instagram where I show where I'm at with weight loss for the whole month of May, because each month. Like last month, it was 10 pounds now, so. Um, I actually don't have a coin over here. Um, let's see something real quick. I might have a coin my black coin. Oh. 
I hate when I do my stuff because I don't think I even have it in my backpack. Do I even have it in here? I don't think I do. I don't even have it in here, but um, at least I don't have it in here. No, I do not have it in here. Um, basically, for the month of May, we are at so far. Ten point six already. Hot five. Cause last month it was just ten, so ten point six. So, and that was after my two week weigh in, cause I missed the weigh in because my baby was sick. Ten point six. If we get the next two, that's 13. That would be So I'm really hoping for it to get that 16 down because that would be really jazzy. But I do need to link that in because I do keep a chart. I'll actually show you guys. My Wi Fi code. You can't have my Wi Fi code. Um, oh, let me take it out, find it because I'm not going to hold this whole thing up. Right here, and this is basically my little chart. You can see, um, for May 7th, it was 269, so I need to put it for May 14th date, which is 266.2, so 3.6 now. And I do it for every month, and I got all the way up to the end of August. Yeah, my four month goal is 239. and I started April, May, June, July. So yeah, the end of July, two thirty nine. But we'll see what happens. <laughs> I think I'll be able to hit it though. I have faith in myself. So yeah, that's that. Anything else I want to talk to you guys about before I get off the thing? Um. I think that's really it. Weigh in was good at 266.2. And next week, I'm really hoping for a three. And the week after that, I'm hoping for a three. So it's probably going to be at 239. And I usually kind of get like sidetracked once I get to. When I get to like. I think who was the lowest I got last time? And I fell off. Because I pay attention to that shit. So. Last time I got to two Okay, I got to two thirty six point two. That's when shit got shaky and that was July seventh of last year. So I'm really hoping July seventh of this year I'll get around there that I pull it together. And I keep it together, like, and keep going and don't give up. Because I noticed, like, then, when I did that, I got that low. Cause, yeah, that was the last time I got that low. Like, yeah, that was in the 230s. I got that low. It's been in that sort of that low. So, yeah, that was the first time I ever got that low. So, I definitely got to stay focused and just keep at it and keep on going. So, hopefully, July will be my year of my month of failure. It will be my month of success. I'm looking at my fitness pal. I don't know if you guys can probably not even see it. But yeah. And I still have this phone case on my back. Cute. I love it. So yeah, that's pretty much what's going on with that. Um anything else? Oh, phone call. Hello? Uh-huh. Nothing to do with my video. Alright. Uh huh. Yeah, it's in the first grade. Yeah. Alright. Okay, 
So, sorry for the empty work feeling. So that's where I'm at with that. And um, I do have a grocery list on here. Oh, man. Hello? I love you too, there. What? I just gotta finish this video. I don't wanna be too long. I'm not a mother. <laughs> okay. Ah, okay. This should be interesting. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, stop. Okay. Start with the guy. Okay, so yeah, basically, um, that's that. We went really, really good. Hopefully, next week will be going. Hey, shit, next week it might be 3.6 because, like, the week before that, what was it? Like, I gotta pay attention to that, too, because. Um. Last week it was 7, so this is 3.6. And the week before that, it was 2.8. And the week before that, it was a 2. So. I'm. Thinking, I'm hoping it's another three, because the first time I started, like after the first time and the second time I started, it was like a five pound, and then it was two pound, two pound, but then as it intermittent back up recently, it was seven, and now it's three point six. So I'm really hoping we get another three point six. So I can definitely hit that goal, because if I get some three point sixes, I can definitely hit that goal. But I don't want this video to be too long. Um, this is usually how this is usually my normal grocery list, but I haven't been using this one because. I make my own. I just got what kind of shit I like to eat. So, yeah. That is a bad. Um, and I'm going to try to get my gallon in a day. That's my main focus as well. And, um, drink tea and get where we need to get with gold. So, I hope my face is coming down. Yeah, that double chin on me. So, we're going to work on that. But, um, I need to go. Because I need to upload this video for you guys, so let me just do that and I will chit chat with you guys later. I will actually probably see you guys Sunday. I won't be back on until Sunday. So I will see you Sunday in more positive results. So always remember, love yourself first. And have some peace in your life, some peace and serenity. And always harmonize with the people you love and the people you don't love because you never know who you're going to meet. So, that means that I hope you enjoyed my video. And I can't wait to see you next Sunday, you know, with more great things. Peace.